billion dollars shared three ways. Catherine Eisman, our LA reporter, joins us now. Uh, Catherine, great to have you with us. I can point out you are not one of the three. Over a billion tickets were sold. There are, what, about 316 million Americans. Did you do your bit and buy more than one? I did my bit for this lotto thing selflessly. I, I, bought, I bought 20 tickets <laughs> and I won, walked away with a cool $7. Whoa. Um, yes, that's, that's actually the most luck I've ever had in anything like this. But yes, 1.5 billion Americans bought a lotto ticket, the biggest in history, in the history of America and the world. Everyone thought they were going to win. <laughs> that was so excited. People were lining up for up to four hours and there was, you know, not rivalry. There was this incredible party atmosphere people playing music. Everyone was already, like, working out how they were going to spend the money that they were never going to get. All right, <laughs> it so it has, it, it has sort of brought people together to that point, but, of course, it can tear lives apart for the lucky stroke unlucky winners, one of which hasn't come forward. The Kansas ticket hasn't been claimed yet. Absolutely. The Kansas ticket has not come forward. And it's interesting that they haven't, because in Kansas City you can remain anonymous, whereas in Illinois... Um, uh, you cannot, so you have to actually be announced, which means you get, you know, have to change your phone number, your address, lose your family and friends and all that. So they haven't come forward. But that person will win about $213 million. They take about 30% of that for tax, the government. They always get their money, don't they? <laughs> um, and, uh, and this person is incredibly lucky. The odds of them winning is a 1 in 176 million chance. Yeah. In America, you're 50, 50 times more likely to be killed by a mass murderer than win this ticket. Yeah, but less likely to be eaten by a shark, interestingly enough, in America, uh, particularly in Kansas, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, just very quickly, one of the reasons, particularly in America, which is one of the most litigious countries in the world, one of the reasons people don't come forward straight away as quite often they will consult a lawyer to decide whether it's a good idea for them to claim the prize and exactly how to go about doing it. That's so true, Paul. And what they have is there's actually like a list of things you're meant to do if you win. So it includes things like take a deep breath. Yes, I think mm, that's probably yeah. necessary. Also consult with a lawyer, consult with a financial planner. Be careful who you tell even in your own family because it really can. You know, the kind of the curse of the, the jackpot winner uh, is very much true. Most people end up broke at the end of it, which is I don't know how you could do that after $100 million or Six hundred and something million dollars. If you're broke, you really need a new financial planner. But yes, that, that's that's the steps involved in doing that. All right, we will talk to you a little bit later. Go and spend your seven dollars wisely, Catherine Eisman. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> what will I buy? What? <laughs> what? I'll take